Herman Potochnik Herman Potochnik, Herman Nordung, was a Slovene rocket engineer and pioneer of astronautics. He is chiefly remembered for his work addressing the long-term human habitation of space. Potochnik was born in the port of Kula, Istria, then part of the Austria-Hungarian monarchy, now in Croatia. His family was of Slovene ethnicity and originated from Lower Styria in Austria-Hungary, now Slovenia. Both of Potochnik's parents were Slovene. His father Josef was born in 1841, in Zagornji Razbor near Slovenj Gradic, and at the time of Hermann's birth he served as a doctor and high navy o. officer in the Austro-Hungarian Navy harbor of Pula. His mother Minka was born February 7, 1854, she was a descendant of Czech immigrants, manufacturers of crucibles for glassmaking, and a daughter of a well-known wine merchant and local councillor Josef Kokosinek from Maribor, born in Vidinje. In 1866, Hermann's father Josef participated in the Second Battle of Vis, where the Austrian Navy under command of von Tegethoff defeated the Royal Italian Navy. Josef was later a general in the Austro-Hungarian Army. When Hermann's father died in 1894, his mother moved the family to Maribor. Hermann had two brothers, Adolf and Gustav, who were both Navy officers, and a sister Franziska, Francie. He spent most of his childhood years in Maribor and, according to oral sources, in Vidinje. In Maribor, Potochnik attended primary school. Afterward, he went to the military secondary schools in Fischau and Haranis in Moravia. His uncle Heinrich was a major general in the army, and probably enabled his study at Austrian military schools. From 1910 to 1913, he studied at the Technical Military Academy in Modeling in Lower Austria, Niederösterreich, near Vienna and graduated as an engineer's second lieutenant. His specialization was building of railways and bridges. During the First World War he served in Galicia, Serbia and Bosnia and in 1915 he was promoted to the rank of First Lieutenant, Oberleutnant. He was assigned to the southwestern front of the Soka battlefield and there he experienced a breakthrough of the Austrian army to the river Piava and its R. Etreat. In 1919, he was pensioned off from the Austrian military with the rank of captain because of tuberculosis that he contracted during the war. He started to study electrical engineering in the mechanical engineering department of the University of Technology in Vienna, Austria, and was awarded a doctorate in engineering. From 1925 onward, he devoted himself entirely to the problems of rocket science and space technology. 
Owing to chronic illness, he did not find a job or marry, but lived with his brother Adolf in Vienna, Austria. At the end of 1928, he published his sole book, Das Problem der Befahrung des Weltraums, der Raketen Motor, The Problem of Space Travel, The Rocket Motor, in Berlin. The publisher, Richard Carl Schmidt, printed the year 1929 as a publishing date, probably from a purely business motive to keep the book looking new throughout the coming year, and this date is often mistakenly given as the actual date of publication. In 188 pages and 100 handmade illustrations, Potochnik set out a plan for a breakthrough into space and the establishment of a permanent human presence there. He conceived a detailed design for a space station, regarded by Russian and American historians of space flight to be the first architecture in space. He described the use of orbiting spacecraft for detailed observation of the ground for peaceful and military purposes, and described how the special sea conditions of space could be useful for scientific experiments. Potochnik expressed strong doubts of the potentially destructive military use of these fresh discoveries. The book was translated into Russian in early 1935, Slovene in 1986 by the Slovenska Matica, English in 1999 by NASA, and Croatia. Then in 2004 by Marino Fonovic, published by Labinart Press. A partial translation to English, containing most of the essential chapters, was made as early as 1929 for the American magazine Science Wonder Stories and was issued in three parts, July, August and September 1929. With his many ideas he became one of the founders of astronautics. His concepts were first taken seriously only by the amateur rocketry movement in Germany, the Verein für Raumschifffahrt (VFR) spaceflight society, centered on Hermann Oberth and his co-workers. In its Russian edition, the book may also have influenced Sergei Korolev's circle. More locally, Viennese engineers dismissed his work as fantasy. Potochnik's book described geostationary satellites, first put forward by Konstantin Tsiolkovsky, and discussed communication between them and the ground. Using radio, but fell short of the idea of using satellites for mass broadcasting and as telecommunications relays developed by Arthur C. Clark in his Wireless World article of 1945. The wheel-shaped space station served as an inspiration for further development by Werner von Braun, another form. Her VFR member, in 1952, von Braun saw orbiting space stations as a stepping stone to travel to other planets. In 1968, Stanley Kubrick's groundbreaking film, 2001, A Space Odyssey, depicted such a role for, Space Station V. Potochnik died of pneumonia at the age of 36 in great poverty in Vienna, Austria, and was buried there. An obituary notice about his death was printed in one Maribor daily newspaper, mentioning his ranks, engineers and captain, his illness, but nothing about his work regarding space. Thanks for watching. 
subscribe to footprints for more videos